Welcome to another Solar Kayak video. The Nelson Mandela University hosted a solar boat race for students and scholars over the weekend and they invited me to come and demonstrate my kayak to the kids. But aside from getting to show off my kayak and just enjoy the great vibe of the event, it was also an opportunity for me to test out a few significant modifications that I've made to the kayak. In all my previous outings, the electric motor was mounted on a fixed bracket just behind the cockpit. It had its advantages, but the hassle of launching it in shallow water, and also the turning moment that it caused uh, when under full power, meant that it was definitely time for an upgrade. So I removed the entire rudder unit and created a bracket to attach the electric motor in its place. It now steers with the rudder pedals. It also has a lifting line to raise the motor in shallow waters. Installing the motor is now as simple as pushing in the hinge bolt and detaching the lifting line. The lower unit is rather heavy, so to limit the force required to lift the motor, I raised the entire assembly such that the weight of the electric motor on top would act as a counterbalance. This unfortunately meant that I could not use my old 10 inch prop I'm now limited due to hull clearance to using props of eight and a half inches or less. Also note the aluminium strips running down the side of the pylon. Both the electronic speed control and the motor mounts onto this aluminium shaft and it acts as a very effective heat sink to drain the heat directly into the water. I replaced the very bulky MPPT charge controller with the small 20 amp buck converter. The smart Jinko solar panel already has a crude form of maximum power point tracking built in, so I was keen to see how that works in conjunction with just a simple buck converter. So if, as they say, the proof is in the pudding, then this was time for dessert. I started with the 8x8 eight eight inch APC electric prop. It gave very nice acceleration and looked like it was capable of fairly high speed but it just wasn't strong enough and it broke a blade before I had time to really get a good speed reading. So I replaced it with the Master A-Screw 9x7 trimmed down to 8.5 inches and here I'm doing 5.7 knots on full power that's 10.5 kilometers an hour or 6.5 miles an hour. In the rush to finish the motor mount at the stern, I didn't have time to really prepare all the necessary equipment to take proper power readings, so uh, that will have to wait for another time. The noon sun on the day was only about 62 degrees above the horizon, which means that a perfectly horizontal panel only receives 87% of the available sunlight. So here you can see I've got my panel tilted all the way forward. Although it's not that much in degrees, it certainly makes a noticeable difference to the performance. While the race was underway, I decided to explore some of the furthest corners of the lake. Now, although you cannot really hear that, that well on the video, the motor is still very noisy at full power. So here I decided to reduce power and see how close I could get to some bird life on the shore. And although the motor is nowhere near as quiet as a brush trolling motor, it is definitely much more tolerable and I'm still doing very very good speed. I made my way down to the lee shore of the lake where I found this floating shack raft where two homeless men are living. They actually made the local news not too long ago. I had to make my way back against a fairly stiff chop and this was also the point at which I realized I should have made more effort to get waterproofing around that electronic speed control. Speed going upwind was still a very respectable 4.8 knots. That's 9 kilometers an hour or 5.6 miles an hour.
and that's max throttle. The buck converter is set to 24 volts. I've already broken the 8x8 APC prop. I'm on the master air screw 9x7. Seems to be holding up fine at max power. Just hope I don't strike anything under the water.